In this problem, we're told to calculate the force of Earth's gravity on a spacecraft to Earth radii above the Earth's surface if its mass is 1,480 kilograms. So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So imagine this right here is going to be our Earth. And so it's not that good of a circle, but we have this uh, spacecraft, right? And so we know it's going to be two Earth radii. So this distance is two uh, Earth radii, right? So it's not going to be to scale, but just imagine I'm going to label it though. And so we know what an Earth radii is. It's just the radius of the Earth. So if this is the Earth, right, this distance from here to here is going to be one Earth radii, right? And so this is our spacecraft, and we know it's going to be weighing, or it's going to, its mass is going to be 1,480 kilograms. So the way we're going to solve this problem is a, a cool trick that you should know. So you should know that the force of gravity is going to decrease as the square of its distance. So I'll show you what, you, uh, what this means exactly. So if you have one over, and then you can take the number of Earth's radii, or the radii, right? So in this case, the total radius is going to be three radii, right? You can take that number and square it. So essentially, it's going to be one over nine. So one ninth uh, the force, right? So it's going to be one ninth of the force than it would be if it was just at here, right? And so we know F sub G, right? The force of gravity, if it was like super close to the surface, right? If it was right here. Uh, it would just be mg, right? So we know it's going to be one ninth of it because it's three radii away, right? So it's just going to be uh, one over three squared, which is one over nine, and then you just multiply this by mg. So it's going to be equal to one over nine times m, which is going to be the mass of our object, right? Which is 1,480 times the force of gravity, which is 9.8. And so if you go ahead and do this, uh, 1,480 times 9.8 divided by nine, uh, you're going to get 1610 and so keep in mind this is going to be in newtons right because force is measured in newtons when we're using this system and so yeah just keep in mind this trick you can uh, do one over uh, the number of radii squared uh, and that's going to be uh, how much the force decreases right so like it's the scale so just keep that trick in mind when you're solving this but the answer is going to be 1610 newtons and hopefully you found this useful